now that I have your attention, in case you didn't know, Minecraft introduced four brand new potions to the game. These will be available in the 1.21 updates. I'm here to teach you what they're all about. What you just witnessed on the introduction is the Wind Charge Potion. Now, this comes in regular potion form, splash potion form, and of course, lingering potion form. And these are the colors that you have. Now, if it hits you, you will end up with a brand new effect, new kind of icon, wind charged. And this is what it looks like. And they do look pretty cool, I'll be honest with you. Even when you're in third person, you can see if a player or an entity has been hit with this, you can see the new type of particles that are available. So if we place down a couple of mobs here and we splash them with this, you'll also see and witness that these guys have the particles as well. Now, if you kill, let's say this that does have it, upon death, they leave a wind burst, basically like the wind charge. I think if you were to able to time this right, there you go like that. And you did have a mace. Obviously, upon landing, you could cause damage. This is kind of out outlined as a negative effect. But honestly, I think it's quite positive. And yes, they can actually be brewed. In order to brew this, you're going to need the awkward potions. And you are going to need a breeze rod. Just wait it out and you will end up with these. Which eventually you could convert into a splash potion and you can mess around and troll your friend. So what you did see at the start of the introduction was me using this effect with a bunch of chickens. Obviously we have strength. So if I was to go to the exact same location, do forward slash enchant at P and we do sweeping edge three. You only need a handful of these. If we grab like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we splash these, right? <laughs> and then we kill these and we wait for it to happen. You can see here, you get launched into the sky. Forget about TNT launches. It's all about the wind charging launches. The next potion slash potion effect is weaving. And yes, this comes in potion form, splash potion, and of course, lingering. And it does say, affected entities will spread cobweb block upon death. And non-player entities with this effect can walk through cobweb at normal speed. So this essentially means that Minecraft now has a renewable cobweb farm. So this is what this looks like, as you can see here. Kind of like a dark and evil looking color. And obviously, if you get hit by it or entities, it kind of spits out cobwebs a little bit. So what this essentially means is players can have cobweb farms. And I like this because on Bedrock Edition, they kind of removed this. So if I was to go ahead and punch him now, cobwebs now spawn. So obviously, the more of these that you go ahead and kill, the more cobwebs there are going to be. So if we just hit these, you'll see here, they start to spread completely. Apparently, they're able to walk through cobwebs at a much faster speed or without actually being affected at all. So it'll be interesting to see when YouTubers start making automatic cobweb farms. And here is the symbol for weaving. This is by far one of my favorite ones. The next potion is called oozing. Yes, comes in bottle, splash potion, and of course, lingering. This one works a little bit different though because affected entities will spawn two slimes upon death that means if you kill let's say i don't know a husk it will then summon another mob now this is brewed once again with awkward and of course slime block so this goes in here and this is what the potion effect looks like i like this one to be fair and if we go ahead and kill him now Two slimes will spawn. This one can be quite chaotic because if you have a lot of these guys that are affected by this and you start killing all of these dudes, you'll end up with slimes absolutely everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Although, like, if you do hit a slime with this, these guys are not affected. Here is the oozing effect. As you can see here, it's split into two separate slimes. The final potion introduced is called Infested. And this is completely different than the other three. This is what it looks like. 
and it says affected entities have a 5% chance to spawn one to two silverfish when hurt, not when killed. Obviously, the other effects happen when the mobs and entities and players die. This one is brewed with awkward and a regular stone block, which I thought was quite an interesting one. So we're just going to get ourselves some mobs here. We're just going to use some cows, some husks, for example. Now, this is just a very, very slim chance of happening. So if we just go ahead and keep spamming these. Now, I think a better way to do this is to summon a bunch of these. Go to forward slash game mode survival because I am using um, thorns. So technically, these guys should be actually taking damage here. So we just keep splashing all of these guys. There you go. There's the silverfish. It's just not a thing that happens all the time. It's just only on occasions. But we do have ourselves a whole bunch of silverfish. And here is the brand new symbol for this, which is clearly indicated as silverfish. These effects can be encountered while taking on an ominous trial spawner. If you missed my previous video, we actually checked this out. Also, along with that, slimes are immune to oozing and silverfish are immune to infested. So if you are to drink one of these potions and then obviously go to survival mode, you'll see here this has now become a trial omen. And then this is when this stuff actually starts to happen. Random events will start to happen. You'll notice uh, effects like this. You'll notice arrows dropping on the floor, potions dropping on the floor. Sometimes they'll be infested. Sometimes there'll be slowness. Sometimes they'll be wind charged, oozing, you name it. It, it just happens on, on random occasions. So this time we might have to get hit by oozing. The cool thing is though, players can actually craft these to mess around with their friends, which I think is a really, really cool addition. And these events will only happen if you've got the ominous bad omen effect, the trial effect. It won't happen just by default. You are in control of if it happens or not. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this. And let me know which one is your favorite. Get out of here. Have a wonderful day.